Hello everybody and welcome back. No, welcome back because this is a new series. Welcome to the start of um, Half-Life Alex Levitation. So, I know very little about this. All I know is that it's apparently set after the base game. I know it's a fan-made campaign and it's meant to be good from the ratings it's got by the look of it on Steam Workshop. And I'm really, really curious to play it because I haven't actually played any custom campaigns yet for Half-Life Alex. So... Uh, let's just jump right in, shall we? Uh, no more difficulty. I'm gonna try continuous movement. See how sick I get. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it saves my height. So I'm playing this seated. Because of, um, real life bullshit conditions. Though I feel like it's not. That's gonna be a problem. Is they just captured? Yep. Well, hired. <laughs> yep. Employee onboarding. Maybe once I get into the actual game itself, it'll, um... Adjust my height a bit. Hopefully. Ooh. Okay, so that's the vault. Oh, and shit went down. Right, yeah, yeah, that's why we destroyed it and what can Oh, you creepy bastard. If it isn't Miss Vance in the flesh and back so soon, that was Not a bad. most impressive exercise. Wouldn't you agree? How about we start from the beginning again? And again. Oh, God. And again. Well, you get the idea of checkpoints you have to continue to survive unless you choose a more oh. liberating what? oh shit hello while it would be unfortunate to lose such hold on I'm, I'm in a chair dude asset. damn there is no substitute i've got cables reliability proven reliability until next time Miss Vance. I, I, I just want to go home. Uh, I don't think Can it gives a home? shit. Pretty solid opening. I like that. The voice acting isn't bad, honestly. What is that? Okay, now I'm going to turn around so I can go there and then I can actually do this. Right. Of course someone phones me. Of course. Of course. Okay. We're back, I think. Everything seems to be working. Cool. Well. I mean, I know it's then Portal 1 OC1. Push to move. Right, yes. Um, Smooth motion. Well, apart from the turning. I love that we're back here. We actually get to explore. Ooh, definitely feels weird. Ooh, ooh, a bit of Zen Fungus, which is like, open. I like it. Oh, little Vorty, we all love you. Oh, you can see it's got like um, stars off above. Very nice. I have no idea how much I'm going to be able to play in smooth motion because my uh, my brain is not attuned to this yet. <laughs> okay, let's just go to the portal, shall we? I think we've uh, had a look at this beautiful environment. Oh, yeah, great. Uh Okay, time seems to be frozen. That's that's something. God. Oh no, cables are attacking me. I can tell you we're stuck on something. No, no. What are you stuck on? Be gone. Oh, there's a light, that's what. Right. Oh, this is weird. Although this vibe is really gonna make me want an um, entropy zero VR. <laughs> Half-Life Alex Entropy Zero. Hello, you advising little bitch. I don't really get to see you guys very much, do we? Just casually slap you in the face a bit. That's not your face, that's your head. Well, you have faces on your head, isn't it? So, you know. Okay. Ooh, city scanner. Cool. Make sure you guys are seeing the uh, right lens. Okay, ladder over there, portal up there. Gotcha. 
Uh, I just want to have a look around. Because I love this. <laughs> this looks so cool. Oh, and you can see the ant lion like burrowing from the ground. I want to just have him by the look of it because that poor grunt over there is uh, a bit confused by the look of him. This is a very cool environment. Okay, let's uh, let's go up the ladder. Oh, grab ladder to climb. Yep. Fear not, game. I know how to climb things. In the game, anyway. In real life. Oh, there's an ordinal up there. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. I teleport. Uh. Sure. Oh, God. Where am I now? Oh, shit. Hello. Uh, they sort of did the exact opposite and did go and investigate the giant floating building in Sector X. So, yeah, we, we better do something right away. Hey, what Russell. You you're the only person who has ever come back from Sector X alive. I hope you're still using this old frequency because we've looked everywhere for you, Alex. Interesting. Okay, so we've got Russell back and he is actually part of the plot still. I love this sort of zen look. I adore this. Just the overall vibe here is kind of reminding me um, a bit of a mixture of all the Zens, like classic like Half-Life 1 era Zen, plus Black Mesa Zen, plus the possible Zen we saw in Alex as well. I I love it. I got the light plants and stuff. Ah. Ah. It's great. Okay, right. I will. Um, I will continue to fanboy this entire um video, but that's fine. If you've watched any of my Half-Life stuff, you probably know this is uh, how I operate. Because I do love me some Half-Life. What? First, I don't want to toggle game menu. Um, yes. I I know because I've had to already use it when I got rang and rudely interrupted. Okay, I got the spikes things. Very nice. There's another terminal over there. Uh, let's go check that out a second. See if that's anything interesting. Okay, that's the building. Great. So the combine are flooding the place with ant lions, effectively. I mean, hell, they use man hacks to get rid of people underground and whatever, so it kind of makes sort of logical sense. The combine just using resources. The ant lions are a resource. We know they already uh, use them for their acid stuff in order to uh, melt down Zenflor. So, well, <gasps> do I see a gnome? There we go. <laughs> Here we go again. So he was just chilling. You're very strong. Oh, I wanted to smash it. Hello. To Jonas Allard, Black Mesa, White Lies. The occult secrets at the heart of the world's most secretive research facility. Is that like the Illuminati symbol on it as well? Oh, it's even got a thing on the back. What do you got? Uh, Black Mesa, so secretive that all employees must undergo rigorous background checks. It's also slightly blurry for me to try and read. It's always like that, though. Um, on the headset itself, it's blurry, but then on the screen, it's fine. Um, so self-sufficient, it has its own sanitation departments and hydroelectric power generator. Yes, it does. Is a Black Mesa research facility an innocent facility? Uh... 
engaged in the pursuit of science or the innovation of... I cannot make out what the hell that word is trying to be. Oh, Babylonian, maybe? Uh, prophecy. Merging quantum and occult. Math, maybe? To open an interdimensional portal between our world and another. And once that portal is opened, what will come through the other side? Combine. Well, vaults first. Then combine. I'm tempted to bring the gnome, but I feel like that's not really a first playthrough thing. Okay, someone's home because the lights are on. Interesting. All right, I love that we've got the um the sort of classic Zen portals back. I I, I really like that. Ah, loading. Cool. I'm hoping my height's okay. I guess we'll know a bit further on, but it seems to be. I think. If not, I'll have to mess around with the settings. No time like now. I think we'll see you in a different font of a thing, although I guess you guys... Oh, no, you guys can see that. Interesting. So, no, normally you guys can't see that. And, okay, the HUD's working for you guys. That's fine. Cool. Right. That is a very large gear. And that's a floating barrel. All right, then. It's going to be this kind of... A floating table. I mean, we are in a floating building, I suppose. And yeah, it's very City 17 looking outside. Ah, yes, the taste of water. Lovely. God, I've missed Half-Life, Alex. Like, so, so much. I mean, right at the railing feels about right, so I, th I think my height's okay. I don't know why I haven't played custom campaigns sooner, to be honest. Because I've been, I've been meaning to. Never got around to it. Also have no weapons, I don't think. Ah, I've got my multi-tool. Okay. Ah, this must be... This is like a clock tower? Yeah, so there's a bell up there as well. Okay. Interesting location. There's never been a clock tower before in Half-Life, so... Ah, resin. Okay, so that's still a thing. So I need to be on the lookout for that stuff. Perfect. No ammo, but, um... Oh, well. <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, mods work the same way in that ammo generation will still happen. Or... Is it preset? Hi, Russell. Excellent advice, Russell. I'm already headed out on foot. All right, so am I going back down now? I suppose. Could really use for finding some ammo. Any uh, resin sort of hidden around? This one isn't great for my um, first booth motion thing because I'm having to like spin a lot here, but this is fine. I'm sure my brain will just be sick for like three decades afterwards. Slight exaggeration. Ah, this is now down. Um, mantle. There you go. Terminal gardens. Can I push and hold? One more? Yeah. I can't mantle on there. Okay. Uh, am I mantling on something else? Can I jump? Hold on. How do I jump? Jump is that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're out. Um, that sounds very, very loud in my ears. Oh, shit. Alright, it's definitely got a combine in the area. I was kind of hoping this would be deserted. Ooh, got some frame drops there. That was not good. 
I don't know how saves work either on this, so I'm gonna manually save as I go. Okay, heights are a lot more terrifying when you're in smooth motion, because <laughs> there's actually a possibility of falling off. All right, then. I love that Combine logo so much. Trying to keep away from the edge. Don't really want any Combine bastards spotting me. Hello. Ah, CPs as well. And I got a prisoner transport. There's regular citizens around as well, so they're probably not expecting trouble. I also need to keep checking my um, recording because it crashes sometimes. Well, that's got straps on it, so I can't open that. Just uh, hope that the combine don't see me. I hear them talking, and it terrifies me. What? What? Something? Something dinged. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to execute all you guys at some point. Yes, I'm now I'm crouching before anyone's like, Oh my god, why are you crouching still? I'm crouching because I feel like I want to be stealthy. Oh, the whole head crab poster, yeah. Huh. We've still got lights going into the sky over there. Okay, so I'm going around and going down, maybe? Isn't that from the zoo? No, that's the vodka poster. Yeah. Apparently, they really, really love vodka in City 17. I guess if it's the only alcohol available, then... Um... Actually, I think, I think we saw wine bottles in Half-Life 2, didn't we? Okay. Stand back up. Big Pharma, 100% organic. Excellent. Well, we've got two residents of us. Obviously, we're going to be getting um, upgrades at some point. Anything in here? Yep. I feel so naked without a gun at the moment. I'm being kind of spoiled, I suppose, by uh, the base game. Uh, anything else I can move? I can move that. Okay, I was expecting some resin there, but apparently not. Right, that's all. These are all solid objects that like, I'm not allowed to move. Okay. Alright. This looks like the perfect place for headcrabs to be hiding. And this is a mod. They don't have to be nice. Because they expect you to have already played the base game. I need to be on the lookout for things. Ah, uh, yeah. Rip North America. Mm. Africa? That'd be interesting. A Half-Life game in Africa. Or Australia. I'd love a Half-Life game in Australia. Because we don't know what's there by the look of it. You imagine that? I mean, you know, everything's already fucked up in Australia anyway, so... Wildlife. Imagine what the poison head crowds would be like there. Probably like Gonok sized. Gonok sized poison head crab. You don't know? No, no, I don't need that. Let's not have a game in Australia. Okay. Yeah, I like that they still put the hints in though, in case I guess you haven't played it. I'm, I don't know. Uh, what have we got? Ooh, in the floor. Very nice. I think the carpet has like bumps in it and stuff. It's very realistic. These are so much easier and smooth. Like, I remember the amount. Oh god, I remember the amount of problems I had during these while I was having to teleport. So far, I'm not dealing too badly with this. So, hopefully, this is a good sign, especially for. Uh, when I do Alien Isolation in VR. So I need, I, I need to get used to smooth motion. 
Right, so we've got power on. Okay, we have light. Excellent. So uh, that door's open now. Fantastic. Save the game. Trust nothing. Especially that. Elevators. Alright. Could I, like, open the curtains? No, I don't think I'll be able to, but... Oh, it's got, like, a proper net on it. I haven't seen a net for a while. Yeah. Used to have those in, uh, what, the place I lived before there? Yeah, resin in the bin. That just closed. Yeah, that just closed. I've got to say, so far, the level of detail in this is incredible. Like, this looks like it could be the actual game. It is beautiful so far. I assume I can't press this. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to, but... There's always some fan mods and things which are amazing. That's for all the Half-Life games. Like, I've played some of the um, Half-Life 1 custom campaigns, and they're amazing. I've played some Half-Life 2 ones that are amazing as well. Fuck it up, just because I could. And now, I'm glad that the uh, trend is continuing with Half-Life Alex as well. And I look forward to playing many, many more. Of all era Half-Life mods. Creaking sound is not inspiring. I can sort of look through the crack of the door a bit as well. Okay. That looks like where I'm going to have to go. Ah, there's um, good old Breen. Breen the bastard. There's resin in there. Come on, come on. There's a glow. Yeah, I can see the glow. No, no, shut, shut, no, stop it. No, just... There we go. Uh, no issues. All right, I can't do anything with you. Ooh, nice glow on the floor, though. Why are you reflecting green light on the floor when it's red light? Is there a green... Oh, it's the exit's fine, okay. That makes sense. I'm not allowed to go that way. So, yeah, we're definitely going that way. Into this absolutely, totally not sketchy and creepy as shit flat. Oh, and I like the kitchen size, though. This is a much bigger kitchen than I've got. I'll kill for a kitchen like this. This is peak perfection. I need this in real life. Right, now, as, uh, you know, true Half-Life Alex custom, let's start searching cupboards. Aha! Can't use the cookers, can I? So, no. Gotta got try and remember where I am in real life here. Uh, anything? Yes. They're stocking me up on resin pretty early, which I'm actually quite appreciative of. Ending in the fridge. I remember how much they love to put shotgun shells in the fridge in the base game. Anything in the bin? Nope. Your TV sucks. Ah, oh, I can't pick it up. I was gonna smash the shit out of it, but I won't. Nope. Just some tapes. All right. I'm waiting for a jump scare at this point. The Mind of Breen. What an invigorating read, I'm sure that is. A shot glass. Yeah, it is. Nice. More Black Mesa. Apparently someone's been smoking a lot here. That looks especially like a way to go. But there's also a bathroom to explore. How can I say no to exploring a bathroom? Ah! Ha ha ha! 
It should, okay, I'm full health, so, um... Well, I've got my guns in that hand, so I'm gonna want it in that pocket. So I've got easy access to health. Ah, it's from the sign. I was thinking that the blue here reminded me a lot of, um, sort of the G-Man stuff from the end of the, uh, base game. So... I was curious as to why it was so blue. That makes sense. Ah, we're on the other side of this. Because apparently we couldn't have just moved that thing that's on wheels. I guess that's a classic video game trope though, isn't it? Can't possibly move something that's easily movable. Thank you. Anything in there? Nope. Can I please have bullets? Okay, that electrified by the... No, 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 that's water dripping, okay. I thought it was sparks for a second. That's locked. I can press this button, though. Fine, it's out of order. Give me a shower. Ah, uh, okay, no. That would be fucking disgusting. Ah, art! Ah, the feelings of mental reinvigoration. Can I, like, move this off the wall? No. Hunter Chopper. And then along. Ah, that's the clock tower then. Alright. So where are we in City 17? Because I can't see the Citadel. Oh good, the door's shut. I'd rather, um, we didn't sterilize. I also love how one of the, um, voice lines that just casually plays in the city is about, um... Unregistered weapons stuff, which is the same dialogue from Half-Life 2 when um, you get the super gravity gun. So either someone out there is getting a lot of super gravity guns, or they've um, just really reused dialogue. Well, I guess I'm just walking on the roof. Uh, am I going onto the track? No, because there's a force field there. I won't be able to get through there. Can't go on there because that's blocking me and that's locked off anyway. If I go too far, I assume I'll just spontaneously drop dead, so. Although, it looks like I can jump over there. Oh, I'll then use steps to get down? So I thought I heard something walking. Damn cables keep getting stuck on things. Alright, uh, let's jump over to there. Hopefully a train doesn't come. Train, 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 train. What did I just say? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. There was never a situation here where there wasn't going to be a Razor train. Okay then, that was fun. Can I just, uh, no, I'm not allowed to walk on that bit. Alright, so, now that train's gone, hopefully I'm good. Although, wait, can I go over here? Oh, I can, okay, no, I, I thought I was going down there, but there's no exit there. And I'm going here. Alright, ah, there's bullets. I felt incredibly odd. That's the first one I've really dropped. Uh, no, no, no. Give, 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 give that. Give that. There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Oh, God. I'm back to, like, the basic pistol, though. Ah, iron sights. All right. Definitely going to be getting some upgrades when I can. 
I know some people don't like it. I guess um, what I can tell people that um don't like the. I can't remember the name of the, the site that you can get. Not the laser site, the other one. The actual sort of scopey looking thing. Um, it's usually people who actually already know how to use guns. <laughs> or someone like me who doesn't have the first fucking clue. Um, this is the closest I've ever got to using a gun. It, it's, a, it's a lot more useful. At least that's what I think I've observed from people on like comments and things anyway. I just... Uh, Nope, 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 nope. Please go away. Thank you. I'm shooting you. Please drop dead. Alex is back, bitches. Oh god. Got him! Probably wasted way too much ammo there, but I got him. Again, I'd rather take on Combine than Weeping Angels. Right, uh, what are you gonna give me? More ammo? Lovely. I assume that was just telling me how to store ammo. Alright, let's uh, check this area out. Damn, the detail. I think we've got stuff on the damn pipes. What the hell? I can't read any of it, but hey. Ooh, hello. Hang on there, nope. Uh, okay, apparently that's, uh, that's an invisible boundary. Okay, it's the supply locker over there. We'll definitely get that in a second. I love these statues. More ammo. Is it going to do a pop-up this time? No. One time I actually went to look and there's no pop-up. Resin. Okay. Let's open you up. Now, are the minigames the same? I assume they're the same. I don't know... Whether it's just gonna start from scratch on levels or. Yes, it is by the look of it. Great. Give me all of the ammo. Nope, 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 nope. Ammo, go in the back. Uh, right, that I can put into this pocket. Ah, but it's got a need. I feel like I should have one of each. You did. Hey, what can post is cool. Oh, that's a uh, reuse from the base game, isn't it? Shit. 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 Aim your gun. Aim your gun. Cross shot, bitches. Right. Excellent. Ah, fuck, let's put the wall on high alert. Alright, alright, that's fine, that's fine. It's not the first time I've been surrounded by Combine. Oh, shit! Um. Ow, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. This is not a good position to be in. There we go, got him, got him, got him. Ow, what the? Oh, shit! Fuck, fuck, shit. As you can tell, this is a no swearing playthrough. Okay. Great, Ordinals already. That's that's fine. Okay, where the hell is he going? He's probably coming around. Okay. I like how we had a bit of a build up though. They set up the environment, everything, it looks beautiful. And now we've got Combine just casually murdering me! Fuck off! Ah, God! No, 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 no. How did I miss all of those shots? 
Aim your gun. Don't panic fire. Don't panic fire. God damn it. I'm burning through ammo here. He's nearly dead. Oh god, I did not mean to do that. Where have you gone? Get this more. Who else? Where are you? Where are you? There. Another odd no. Alright. Oh god, Grunt as well. Okay. This is probably more intense than any of the firefights that were actually in the base game. I love it. Yeah, the flanking. Okay. I need to get used to be able to move whilst I'm firing. Okay, if I can't hear this valve, it's going to come the old-fashioned way. That's it. Back off. I forgot how intense VR firefights are. I love it. Like, I love firefights in, um, you know, just normal flat screen games too, but there is something special about VR for obvious reasons. That all of them? We're gonna need to take out a damn strider now. You know, that sounds like an alarm. Fuck this, I'm saving. No man hacks. That was nice. I was fully expecting about 20 man hacks to spawn. Alright, now let's um, loot the shit out of this place. Anything in here? No. Oh god, that's not the back button. Wrong controller. Ah, hello. Knew there'd be something else somewhere. Yeah. I think items are just spawning. So I don't think that was there before, unless I just obviously missed it, which is more than possible. Alright. I like I can hear sort of chatter from just regular people. Um, I mean, I'll save that until I'm at least a heart down. So I think that gives you a full heart heal on um, normal, if I remember correctly. Right, where do I want to go next? Is there anything up, uh, up here? Yeah, I know it's mantle game. It's fine, I figured that out. So it looks like I can go, maybe go that way if I get through that barricade. But then, there's that way as well. Or am I climbing up? I'm just back to the clock tower. I don't know why. No, I'm probably not going back there. Oh. Did they just execute all the civilians? I mean, it's not exactly the first time the Combine have done that, is it? You can hear at Nova Prospect they do that kind of shit. Execute prisoners to make sure that Gordon can't get uh, contact with them. I open this? Ah, oh, hey, dropship! It doesn't have a canister or container, rather, so I'm not too concerned. But that. Ah, let's drop the force field over that. Cool, cool, cool. cool. More stuff, thank you. I'm dreading encountering man hacks. I always dread encountering man hacks. Ah, uh, we're going into a train area by the look of it. All right. Ah, this is where that ordinal was shooting at me from.
All right, all right. <clears throat> Let's go, I suppose. Visit the coast. I have visited the coast many times. Good old St. Ogla. The music as well is so perfect at the moment. You don't really get a lot of music in Half-Life games, but it feels like it's constant in this at the moment, which obviously is a, a choice by the uh, mod makers. And it's kind of a good one. It gives it more of a unique feel, in my humble opinion. Okay, has this got... Yeah. What does this do? In action is conspiracy. Ah! I've just opened. Hold on, wait. What's out of the door then? So I thought this was going to be where I had to go. Oh, it's it's locked. <laughs> All right. So I'm going through here, am I? Okay, and that's um, actually a new map. So that's I feel like that's a good place to end the first part. Let my uh, my poor brain recover from the gradual feeling of motion sickness I'm beginning to get. Ah, <laughs> oh, my brain was clearly not built for VR. Well, that's okay, because uh, you got to train it, don't you? If it's, the, more, the more I do it, the, the more used to this I'll get. And I really want to carry on playing, unfortunately. Um, but I, I can't. I'm going to have to take a break. Uh, maybe I'll probably, I might be able to record another episode uh, in a bit, maybe. It depends on how long this feeling lasts for, I guess. But um, this was a very solid start. I'm, I'm very impressed. Absolutely loving the quality of the mod so far. It's been fun. It's been intense as well. I like that we've actually got uh, voice acting as well. So the voice actors in this have been pretty decent. Like, we've got... Uh, the G-Man voice actor, obviously you can tell, yes, it's not the proper G-Man voice actor, but the way he talks, the, the, sort of the mannerisms and everything, I think it's it's all there still. So I can still buy that that is the G-Man. I'm also talking like I'm talking to the webcam, but I don't actually have the webcam on at the moment, so I, I'm just sort of flapping my arms around, it's fine. Um, obviously we have Russell as well, again, obviously it's not the original voice actor, but it's still a believable Russell to me. So I think they've done they've done pretty decent with the with the voice acting. I'm intrigued by the plot as well so far. Like we've got the combine, just casually levitating buildings. The resistance thinks to let ant lions in to um to serve them humans as bug food, but I don't know. That seems a little excessive. Like why why bother unless it's to get rid of resistance outposts and stuff, I guess. But I don't know, something just seems a bit off about that, so I'm assuming there's going to be something much bigger going on with that, and it's going to be being insane. I like that it's also picking up straight after Alex has been hired. She's just sort of been shoved back on Earth by the G-Man, and um, everyone's like, Hey, Alex, we looked everywhere for you. Couldn't find you, but that's fine. We're just going to give you more missions now. Have fun. So, with all mods, I just consider this to be an alternate timeline. Um of the main universe, considering we've already got the multiverse in Half-Life anyway, especially thanks to um, Portal 2. So, I just consider this one of those universes. Which kind of means everything is canon, sort of. Which is kind of nice. It's a nice way of uh, including your community's content, at least, in my opinion. Yeah, really looking forward to doing the next part. I think, yeah, we're on map 3. So, uh, we'll see how well this goes next time. So until then, everybody, um, links will be in the description of this video for the Discord server if you're new. Uh, leave a like on the video if you wouldn't mind, because it helps the channel out, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, just because then you get more you know, notifications, content, and all that kind of thing, if you want that. And I guess that's it. In the meantime, everybody, till next time, take care.